This is part one of Everything Great About Knives Out. Part two will be up tomorrow, but if you want to watch part two right after this, it's up on Nebula, my streaming service that has partnered with today's sponsor, Curiosity Stream, to give you Nebula for free. More on that later. Well, this is gonna be tough, huh? What could we even say about this opening shot? I mean, the music is amazing. Somehow a parody of a whodunit score while still being a whodunit score. Sure, the framing of the tree, an almost silhouette in the foreground of the house, the slow motion dogs, the low angle of the house giving it its own sinister vibe as well as the fog sliding across the driveway on an overcast morning alluding to the mystery we're about to uncover is all top notch. But otherwise, yeah, gonna be a tough one to find wins in. And the second shot gives us some serious mug shadowing. Mugshot shadowing. But since you've all seen this movie, let's let's not be coy. You know this is Harlan's mug, which pretty much tells you everything you need to know about the man at the head of the Empire. Let's just say the rest of the family wouldn't be caught dead using such a tacky mug, but someone in the house would. Production design. Can we just give a prop master win? Yes, we can. And this dang score taking itself so seriously in the best possible way. She's worried about making a mess. Although I'd like to point out that the dropping the tray cliche has always been a strange one to me because has anyone ever dropped something because of a surprise in real life? I guess I've never come across a dead body, but I don't think it would be my first reaction. So at least she catches it. Mystery novel font used for the info text. And while we're doing these long wins, the name and location cards actually reveal another insane level of detail. Steve Yedlin, the DP, went to painstaking measures to make this movie that's completely shot digitally appear as though it's shot on film from the gate weave, which are these little jitters you see in every frame, the grain, the halation, another problem with film where light bleeds beyond its borders creating a halo effect, and a whole entire color grading process with math and algorithms and someone could probably make an entire video about it. The fun detail is that the name and title cards get their own unique gate weave, etc. that you'll notice as it moves against the background independently. Relevant background dialogue. She really didn't murder him either way you slice it. And it's not a Ryan Johnson movie without a JGL cameo. Your sister just had a friend okay. she loves slit his throat open. Let's be sensitive. Sensitivity. Hi, Walt. Hi, Martha. The class divide starts quick. We already know how the thrombies view Marta, not even bothering to listen to what she says. Excuse me, ma'am. You with the help? Also that. You're part of this family. Part of, owner of, tomato, tomato. Jamie Lee Curtis really nailing home how nice she is to be hugging the help, I mean, member of the family. That last one didn't need quotes. We're very sorry for your loss. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> Sincerity. Lucas Lee Curtis? Well, since I've made myself the eye reflection guy and Linda's glasses are showing a window in the reflection, you better believe the fun fact that they made lighting rigs to look like windows and reflections is a win. Just the blocking and shot composition that Ryan and Yedlin use throughout that works from multiple angles and is always intriguing to look at. Oh, we had our own secret way of communicating. Secret way of communicating is so vague, I love it. She specifically meant our communications were coded, a la Dwight Schrute, but it would be easy to assume she meant they shared glances and nods. Nervous, sketchy Michael Shannon with a limp is a solid red herring murderer. I mean, I don't do much fiction reading myself. Big but... fan. <laughs> Trooper Wagner's fanboy moments are a thread that runs through the entire movie, and they deserve their own win counter. Dad said the plots just popped into his head, fully formed. Can confirm. He wrote this entire movie in like, well, less than 10 minutes. Ricky Lindholm, half of Garfunkel and Oates. Look him up, you're welcome. Donna, she's my rock. <laughs> Rocks do generally scream and spill their drinks when a fork hits the ground. My son Jacob, very politically active. Come on, that's not fair. I think Billy is just using his phone to try to find Georgie. I love the very deliberate signal that we're dealing with all unreliable narrators, and we shouldn't trust anything we're told or shown. Looks like T has come out to play in the Knives Out states of Terra. You guys are with me, right? There's actually something in this scene that would demonetize the video if I pointed it out. This is Benoit Blanc. Benoit Blanc. <laughs> Agreed on the name, but what a setup for the movie. Block's name is another goofy throwback to Poirot whodunits. The last of the gentlemen sleuths? You solved that case with the tennis champ? You mean the one in sleuth? You will find me a respectful, quiet, passive observer. Foghorn Craighorn? Yes, Craig. I am so sorry to my fans across the pond. Craig. His accent is amazing. Although, I'm starting to think Daniel Craig watched this episode of The Office. More of a Savannah accent, which is more like... 
molasses just sort of spilling out of your mouth. And then Tony Collette. Yeah, it's skincare, but it promotes a total lifestyle. Just watch this episode of Parks and Rec? No, it's Tinnifer with two Ys. And they both just ran with it. Immigrants, we get the job done. Yeah, you really threw away your shot there, bud. I... From Hamilton. And who are these lamos shoving Hamilton references into everything these days? Be like making a video about a cartoon princess and referencing Hamilton. Psh. Dad, are you firing me? Not that anyone needed proof of Christopher Plummer's talent, but did you notice this was a 1 minute 16 second take and it was also the only take? Another slight difference, Linda's opinion of Ransom is that he'd give his great grandma a loving touch before leaving, but that's not the way Walt remembers it. I'm not sure if it's because the letter matches Harlan's wardrobe or if Christopher Plummer just wears the hell out of that shirt, but I don't think I wear enough pink. Sorry, forgot. <laughs> Don Johnson's little eye dart. He's proven he might not be the sharpest bulb in the shed. Are you baiting me, detective? My baby brother in front of a police detective and a state trooper. Walt doesn't run sh Why don't we uh, just take a little break in movies? Uh, oh, no. She's gone. Lakeith Stanfield is always a win. I know, most actors with that status have bigger resumes, but he just doesn't miss. And in this movie, he's the only real person keeping our feet on the ground. Each of the family members is a clue card, his partner is a mystery geek, Blanc, <laughs> come on. And even though Marta is pretty normal, she also went along with Harlan's crazy plan. So, Lakeith is all of us. <laughs> also, he calls Benoit Benny. Come on. Quite frankly, Benny would get Optimism, misplaced optimism, but it's still optimism. I mean, the guy practically lives in a clue board. Okay, and Elliot also hits our first meta commentary on the genre slash fourth wall break comment, and I think we need another win counter for them. And I'm gonna throw one on for this too. Yes, we did it okay. anyway. Ha! Benny just took an extra long look at Marta's shoes, confirming that it was one of the first things he noticed and explains why most of his questions to her were softball questions. He wanted to uncover the mystery, not just have her arrested. You have a regurgitative reaction to Miss Truden. <laughs> yeah, we actually need one more counter. Benoit lives in his own reality with his own vocabulary and phrases, and I love every word of it. Miss Truden. <laughs> the opposite of a motive. And if that support was threatened, Miss Cabrera... <laughs> Blanc is a good detective and also has eyes in the back of his head. Come on, no, have you seen her Insta? She's an influencer. <laughs> we didn't specify what he had to be a fanboy of. Did he plan to fire Walter? Richard is having an affair. She was pocketing the double payment. So that's three, which is a great setup for a big unraveling conspiracy where actually they all conspired to kill their dad because they dislike each other other enough to be a misdirection. What we get is so much better. Somebody suspects foul play and goes through this hotcha dance of hiring me. <laughs> Daniel Craig's hotcha dance might be my new ringtone. Physical evidence can tell a clear story with a false tongue. And with the flip of a coin, the film changes genre. A thriller nestled inside a whodunit like a donut. We'll come back to that later. Fun fact, the name Harlan Thromby comes from a choose-your-own-adventure novel called Who Killed Harlow Thromby? I know how this is gonna end. I have to say I really appreciate that she's doing an actual IV push rather than sticking a needle in his vein like they often pretend is possible in movies. She even has saline flushes between injections. Ransom, there's so much of me in that kid. Yeah, that tracks. Ransom goes all whodunit too. Close the book with a flourish. You know, this is an interesting and efficient method of murder. I Leave it to a murder mystery writer to think it's super cool that he might die by one. So, if someone switched the meds on purpose, I'd be dead in 10 minutes. And of course Harlan has already thought through how this all plays out. The plot all formed in his head as soon as Marta couldn't find the naloxone. Now, if what you said is true, I'm gone. There's no saving me. Look, I love this movie and the mystery is fun and there's no way Harlan would know any different. And I'll even give Marta a pass because she was freaked out and he kind of forced her hand anyway. But a nurse would know and now you'll know that if this exact situation ever did arise, 15 minutes while waiting for the ambulance to arrive is not that long to do CPR. Well, it is for one person, but the house is filled with people. But a morphine overdose shuts down your respiratory system, so no oxygen gets into your blood to be pumped to your brain, but that's what CPR does. It puts oxygen in your lungs and manually pumps your heart, which sends the oxygen to your brain. And then when the ambulance got there, they'd have naloxone and take over CPR. He may still have ended up dying, he is old. I'm just saying that this isn't the only solution if you come across this exact situation and your mother's undocumented. Anna's performance here rocks, and it's also another moment to add to the list of these awful rich people don't actually see Marta. She's just awkwardly with her back to Joni, who when asked, must have said she was getting the medicine ready. And then Walt does the same thing. Call attention to the time. God, it's midnight already. If he saw her leave and drive off, noted the time. He only remembers looking at his watch. This all really just serves to freak me out more about real life murder mysteries. Our memories suck. You do this, Marta? Hmm? 
this last thing for me? <laughs> There's at least a sliver of him that loves being a part of a murder mystery. Climb the side trellis. You gotta be kidding me. I am not. Do it. <laughs> Time dilation conversation. Huh? Secret window wall has a painting of a kid climbing out of his painting. He'll see you through the glazed window. And of course he's gonna have all this ridiculous attention to detail just rattling around in his brain. Dad said the plots just popped into his head, fully formed. Love that the coin flip is the signal that no time has actually passed in the present and she was only just thinking about what really happened. Wait. Daniel Craig, a murder mystery, and Christopher Plummer? Is this the girl with the dragon tattoo? Keen-eyed viewers already guessed what was going on with that blank letter. I keep waiting for the big reveal. And in it, she plays his wife, who's getting poisoned by her husband. Wait, Tony Collette, a story about someone slowly being poisoned in a twist ending? Is this a sixth sense? There's this Hallmark movie called Deadly by Surprise with Danica McKellar. Fun fact, Danica McKellar is the greatest Hallmark Christmas movie actress that ever lived, and I sincerely hope she's forgiven me for calling her Winnie Cooper on Twitter because she's awesome. They're putting children in cages. Tony, nobody's saying that isn't bad. Well, depends on how much 4chan you subject yourself to. A perfect picture of not only another unreliable narrator, but also someone so self-involved his memory of this casual dehumanization of Marta into a prop for his argument went over swimmingly with her, and everyone was laughing because introspection is for pores. I actually think they all really believe they treat her like family because they don't spit on her. Ooh, don't pretend like you don't love this shot. Apparently Ryan has seen Casino Royale. Or I guess Apocalypse Now. Something is afoot. Look at you, Marta. Gravity's rainbow. A novel. Yeah, I know. I haven't read it though. Neither have I. Nobody has. It's true. The book is 760 pages. And that amount of time you could read The Crying of Lot 49 like four times. How about it, Watson? So now you're Sherlock Holmes. Better hope Moriarty doesn't show up. So sorry. Am I interrupting? This machine unerringly arrives at the truth. Asasanato ella escribio. Wait. M. Emmett Walsh talking about security while replicant Joy stands there. Eh, she wasn't a replicant. Is this Blade Runner 2049, but also the original? Okay, we'll have to try again later. Looks like a Japanese horror movie. Are we all gonna die in seven days? <laughs> Trooper Wagner now also a confirmed weeaboo. They're all straight out of his series, the Menagerie Tragedy Trilogy. Pretty cool. Well, you can actually see Marta erasing the tape. Kennel. I awoke amid Kennel. <laughs> They're really gonna do a number on my... Sweet beans. Main parts of the plot unfolding in the background. CSI KFC? A rare acronym burn. Let's take a second to appreciate the many amazing facial expression responses by America's ass. And son? Son. Father. It's really one of those moments you can feel Ransom nudging Cap off the Vormir cliff. Nice. Matter of fact, oh my God, each <laughs> Seriously. But also language. I'm not eating one. I own it. <laughs> oh, improvised by Michael Shannon. And again, this piece of the plot happens in the background for only us to notice. It's the trick window from a kill for all season. The game is afoot. Shoo, do you ever untie your laces? Harlan's assets included um, the house. The house. I love that Frank's paralegal has to point everything out for him. Why? Why did I immediately assume she's a paralegal? She could be a lawyer. She could be an executive assistant. She could be Fozzie Bear's boss for all we know. Well, speaking of Twitter, let's uh, let's check in with the source. Hi, Carrie. Please don't think I'm some creepy weirdo, but what's the deal? I want to get it right. Send tweet. All right, we'll have to come back to that later if she responds. In the meantime, oh, what's this? Oh, good. The director responded. Let's just thank him for his time. Send tweet. Good. Fine. So, Queen of Law. Brian <laughs> Jackson replied to my dumb tweet for this dumb bit. Holy crap. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Ryan. I love your movies. Thanks for, thank you for replying. Alan, you can take, take she's what? Water, this family. piece of paper and shove it! <laughs> Everyone else is being diplomatic and trying to reason, but the one with the biggest chip on her shoulder, the one with the real business and the real connection to their dad, loses it. You cops, too, out, out! Yeah, it's, uh, it's too late for Andre to get out. Out! Right now! <laughs> Trooper Wagner just following direction, which is because he's a fanboy of Harlan. You could still not know exactly where this is all headed, even if you deduced as I did that Ransom came back specifically to see everyone freak out about Marta getting everything. 
Looks like Hugh's headed over to Nebula. And like I said at the beginning, if you want to watch part two right now, it's up on Nebula, my streaming service where you can find my videos ad-free as well as a bunch of your favorite creators and originals you can't find anywhere else. My buddy from Tier Zoo uploaded his second episode in his Let's Play Outside series that's just... It's just one of the best things ever. Another is our collaborative series, Working Titles, where a different creator takes a TV show and talks about why the intro sequence is incredible and goes into behind the scenes stuff, offering insight into why it works. If you haven't caught mine yet, it's on Stranger Things. The newest one is from Real Science for Westworld. It's really one of my favorite things I've ever been a part of. And if you want access to Nebula for free, the easiest way is to sign up for Curiosity Stream at my link at the top of the description. If you use my link, you'll get a full month of Curiosity Stream for free. Then it's just $2.99 a month after that. And with that premium membership, you'll have unlimited access to thousands of documentaries and nonfiction titles. I just watched one from astronaut Colonel Chris Hadfield called Miniverse, where he takes a journey across our solar system scaled down as if it were the size of the continental United States. It puts the size of the space around us into a whole new perspective, and it's a fun trip. So check out the link at the top of the description, use promo code CINEMAWINS to sign up, and then you'll get an email that will give you access to Nebula for free, forever, as long as you stay subscribed to CuriosityStream. And you'll be able to see part two of everything great about Knives Out right now.